less than a month after the launch of the historic sustainable development goals and the global strategy for women, children, and adolescents' health, I'm really excited to see integration for maternal and newborn health at the country level and how we can carry forth the momentum at the global level. I'm looking forward to learning more about how health innovation and digital health are advancing the health of moms and newborns worldwide. So a package of interventions that cover the supply and demand side, and for us particularly the demand side will improve quality of care for children and mothers and newborns. To ensure quality of care through providing, um, using the WHO framework that has been developed to make sure that commodities and essential supplies and health systems are strengthened to improve quality. The Youth Coalition will promote and create innovative ways of working with adolescents and young people all over the world so that they can participate in the planning uh, implementation, monitoring and evaluation of the healthcare services that affect them. Maternal and child health needs to be recognized as an integral human right of every mother and child of the world. The voices of women, their families, their husbands and their communities need to be integrated into maternal and newborn child health programs. The form of care itself calls for integration. You cannot separate the life cycle and begin to address issues in different areas. Integration, I think we need to be very clear what we mean by integration. From my perspective, it means that all the agencies and all the sectors who are involved in maternal and newborn care talk to each other and provide the services in a seamless way. Mothers and newborns are inextricably linked. So whatever challenges we have to offer integrated care comes from us. Uh, the global and national health communities. We need to incorporate more participatory approaches so that no woman and no child will be left behind. I think we need to hear their voices and we need to hear what's important for them. And definitely we need to bring in a human rights approach to all the work that we do.